Here's my new level I've been working on, my little mountain town. My first video building this did pretty well, so I'll be throwing together a couple more of these as previews. I usually stream building this on my Twitch, so you can follow me there if you want to see more. Anyway, with where I'm at now, the song takes a shift in tone. It sounds all bright and happy in the parts I've built. But here, it's a bit more spooky. It also sounds a bit more floaty, which is why today I'll be building some spooky, swingy gameplay. I want to mess around with this ship and swing copter. For the first time, I haven't actually messed around with the swing copter before. You have really heavy ship here, so it feels really sp strange. And then it's still heavy, but not as heavy right here. Um, but yeah, we're actually not going to be making very much gameplay. Let me... What we're going to be doing today, I wanted kind of these creeping tendrils to be in this next part of the level. And so I did some tests. I did some stuff with like area move and it's kind of cool. I kind of like it. I might include a little bit of this, but then I did stuff with rotate triggers, a bunch of rotate triggers all set to aim mode towards the player where this entire thing rotates to face the player then just this portion rotates, just this portion rotates, then just this portion rotates, then just this portion, then just this portion, and they all have like a pretty high easing. And what that looks like is this. So I think that's pretty cool. I'm going to include this in the level, but I just have to like, the fun thing about this, if you want to build helper this, you can't really do that. Cause you notice how some of these have parent groups. If I copy and paste this pause build helper, You'll notice all the parent groups are gone. That wasn't updated to work with parent groups and now it just doesn't work. Okay, so right now I just need to make a bunch of them, a bunch of these tendrils, and then I can kind of like place them around, but I just got to do the group work. Okay, we just got to do the long grindy work here. Uh, start position would be helpful. Oh, I'm doing bones and Judy instead of blender. Yeah, here, let me just really quickly open blender and make the level in there instead. Sounds good. Day one of trying to get me to see your message. Well, that was short-lived. Okay, how does this work? So this needs a group. 200. And it's gonna rotate around this bone. So I need 200 parent on that. Now I need to select all of this. I need to give this the next group. 201 go rotate around this bone. So that's 201 parent. Um, I need another object here. 204 and 204 parent. There we go. And I think five long is plenty. When next video on YouTube, when it happens... I don't post consistently often, you guys gotta understand. I'm not like a, one of those people who post multiple times a week. It's just that it happened to line up that way. Uh, okay, we guys have the rotate triggers for these. Dynamic mode, infinite, player one, there we go. Now we just do this on all these. I, I like better at it, but it requires custom keybinds, and custom keybinds is kind of broken. I don't know if they fixed the issue where if you like hold undo like that, if it will like get stuck and just keep undoing. Uh, these, these should all aim towards the player now. I don't know if I should replace these with just normal hitbox objects. Just make it the same width as these hitboxes. Is that working? Oh god, it doesn't work. That's cool. That makes me really happy. Why is that not working? Okay, uh, rotation offset 180. Does that work? Does that work? Moment of truth. It doesn't. If I delete these triggers, does that change things for some reason? Does it? No. What am I trying to do? Uh, survive. That's, are you happy? Okay, I like can't even begin to comprehend what is happening right now. Yeah, my brain already broke. This is why this is just gonna be pretty much the entire stream is just doing this. 202 parent. I think the next stream working on this level will actually be the gameplay. I am doing parallax. This is exactly why I'm setting parent groups and rotating these hitboxes around bones. That's how you make parallax. Okay, it's working now. That's good. I like when it works, that makes me happy. Yay, who does the thing? So I gotta copy paste this, and I gotta build helper. The nice thing about having all these rotate triggers be spawn triggered is that I can move them horizontally, 
and they'll still all get triggered at the same time. So I just gotta go through and make these group parents of whatever their highest group is. I don't know why it's 2 and 9. Build Helper is really weird about group orders, but and that would make this 208. That's fun. I like that. Thank you for doing it that way. It's whatever new group is added each time. For the rest of this first stream, I just mass produced tendrils. Sometimes you just gotta do the grind work. This'll make it a lot easier to make the gameplay when I want to, just having these already made. I'm really getting to a rhythm with this. It's like a thing Bill Wirt said about like when he made a ton of cars, like hundreds of cars for one of his videos. It was like after the 20th one, you really get into a flow with it. Only after the 25th time, mm -hmm. and not before. So this is the part we're working on today. I gotta actually make gameplay here. Yesterday I just made tendrils. I'm dead. Okay, we gotta make gameplay. Gameplay's good. Let's get a start position going here. How did I made that? Uh, with the GD editor, that's how I made that. I'm gonna move these tendrils off screen and then I'm just gonna start adding them in in places where they make sense to be added. And then I'll kind of mess around with their individual settings, like the settings on the rotate triggers. I'll kind of warp them around, change their size and stuff. Probably move that over slightly. Why am I up there? What do you mean? Why am I up there? That makes no sense at all. 2.2 .2 plus start pause equals, yeah. Equals pain. I was gonna have another black and white city part, like the one in Cellar Path. Well, it's not gonna be like the one in Cellar Path. It's gonna be wide outlines on black, but it's gonna be more of a town than a city, obviously, because that's the theme of the level. I think I wanna have, like, shards of glass or something. So I want to have like these bits, these little spikes scattered around and I want to have these all like rotate at different speeds. I'm going to make like six different rotation speeds or something. I'll have uh, this one that moves 10, minus 10. Let's just see how those all look. I think they all got to be a lot slower. These should all spin a lot slower now. Yeah, I didn't want them to spin too fast because that looks really weird. Oh god, that's hard. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's doable though, apparently. How far am I on the layout right now? Uh, like, how far am I exactly? Almost two minutes in, so a little under halfway. Okay, well if we had to... Kind of straight flight downwards, so we have some uh, downward sloping gameplay where... Let's make this white. Add a bunch of these, like this. Let's start introducing some tendrils as well. I don't know what I'm doing. And we have like another spike over here. I want very like floaty, curvy gameplay. This is really hard straight play. I don't know about all this. What if I, what if I like land on a block instead? What if there was like a dash orb that reversed my gravity? I don't know. No, and that, that dash for backs is a Y position reset, so that's nice. You will eat an entire piece of paper if I make a level you can actually beat. You can't beat Glorious Fortress. That's a skill issue. I think I'm gonna put my first tendril over here. I'm kind of making sure the player doesn't go down from the dash rope too soon. I'll probably delete the edge of it. Oh my god, go to the layer. Thank you. Probably warp it as well. Oh no 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 Okay That's kinda working Yeah don't copy paste them Jim don't copy paste them that breaks it place another one down here Okay no It's kinda hard to predict how they'll work Use the song from the South Park movie. Yeah, I've, I've heard a few people mention that. I wasn't aware that was a song in South Park. And now I'm suffering the consequences. It's fine. Your favorite South Park composer, One Fin. Yeah, I, I love One Fin's work in South Park. It's so good. This is kind of coming together. Maybe a little experimental. This first bottom tendril. I want it to start, like, following the player with low easing, but I think as the player passes it, I want it to, like, reach out a lot faster. So that's when I use these rotate triggers take them off spawn trigger and I switch the easing to be like way faster kind of after the player passes it Let's see how that looks 
Ooh, I like that. It's like twitches to reach for the player. I like that. I want to make more of them do that. That's fun. That just is going to require placing a lot of rotate triggers. Okay, yeah, I want to make this one kind of twitch for a split second and then go back. That causes the issue of it kills you. It's kind of hard to control the exact movement of these tentacles. They are pretty cool though, I like them. They add a lot of personality to the layout. Yeah, they just feel really alive. The way they kind of like twitch and move around and are kind of like moving towards you. They feel like magnetic almost. Spikes look a bit too precise. The difficulty is really supposed to be picking up here is the thing. But yeah, these spikes here might be a bit much. Well, I'm gonna totally have like another tendril reaching for you up here so you kind of have to go up really far. That would be not very whimsical. That would be pretty spooky. Very spooky. Ooh, I like that. So it's following you for that whole time. That's cool. They look like they're way too easy to make for how effective they are. I mean, I did have to kind of mass produce them. But yeah, they weren't too bad to add. It was just a lot of grind work. They aren't very complicated. Okay, this is bugging me a lot. I'm going to copy and paste this and like add an invisible hitbox. Because that, that is really annoying. Another spike of some kind. You have to straight fly a little bit there. Maybe you have to land on another platform here. I'm trying to land on the wrong side of that. This is pretty hard. I am playing on 6G. Their punishment for not hitting the dash orb? I'll figure that out. I think the punishment for not hitting the dash orb will be an orange portal right here. There'll be a spike that instantly kills you, or a te another tendril that if you just like slightly move, it kills you. Make the tendrils break? Probably not. That sounds complicated. Sounds like a whole lot of too much work. Yeah, get one of these down here. Whoa, it curls around and gets you if you do that. That's cool. This one, I'll just have this one like twitch into place. I want it to like barely, just barely not be touching the player. So ever so slightly off. I don't know. That could be fun, that could be whimsical. But yeah, now if you don't hit the dash orb, that should be a bit of a problem. I'll actually save and play. Or maybe I won't. Yeah, so now if you don't have... So now if you don't hit the dash orb, just going down very, very slightly here kills you. It's definitely a possible timing, but it's like... That's actually not that bad. Actually, I could do a completely different setup here where I just have like jump pads. I could have this tendril on the opposite side. I can do like breakable blocks. Yeah, because that's not working very well. That's actually really easy to dodge because of the ship acceleration. It takes a good few frames for the ship to actually touch that. So I could I could make use of breakable blocks if I can find them. So if you hit the dash orb, It won't do anything. But if you don't hit the dash orb, then it still doesn't do anything. God damn it. I, I guess I gotta do like passable blocks instead of breakable. I'll just mark these. I'd like to mark passable blocks as like a tan color, which will be like very desaturated. So I'll just make it like an orange color here. I'll fully saturate it so you can actually see the tanness with the desaturated colors. Yeah, I'm gonna do passable. This is how I ma mark out passable blocks. Gravity is slightly heavier in this part too. It's at 1.1 gravity. So it's gonna take some practice for people to get used to, but it's supposed to feel like really weird to play. Yeah, I think that's good. If I had like a ceiling tendril there, or maybe even a couple. Yes, now you die to that. Yeah, no, I think you'll always die to that. If you do it the way you're supposed to. Be some fun swing copter gameplay. I gotta fill out these sections a bit more later. These tendrils are so cool, man. I love these as like a gimmick. These are awesome. I spent the next several minutes just filling out what I'd made a bit more. It's nothing new or interesting, so I'll skip over it. Okay, I need to structure these things. I guess pillars will will do. So we'll just use the layout blocks I was using before, except for we'll use the light color white versions. 
cop and paste it around like this. Let's fill it in with these, maybe. Solid color. Make these a new color channel that's like white blending on lower opacity. This is so cool. Honestly, I'm like really happy with how this part has turned out. What's the most fun part about building my, a level in my opinion? I don't know, just seeing it come together. Like having an idea and then making it and then seeing the result of that being like, yo, that's actually really sick. I kind of like the idea of just like swinging up and down there. What's the name of the third tendril in this part? Uh, Simon, it's canonical. Okay, I'm going to copy paste these and do uh, some build helper. And then what I'm going to do over here is I'm just going to rotate this blade like 90 degrees and then you should be able to squeeze through that properly. That might be too hard. Move this down extra. This is this is kind of hard. I might just warp that down slightly. What's the name of the sixth tendril? I don't know. I only know Simon. This is the only one I know. It's a bit hard. I'm going to move the swing copter right there. And then, yeah, probably getting some more tendrils to fill up the space. We could definitely need one up here. This is not extreme demon. I'm playing on 60 right now, it's not that bad. This is still like hard demon. Whoa, that's actually possible to dodge the tendril, that's funny. The ship is a big difficulty spike, that's the idea. The song's also a big difficulty spike right here. How would you not make a big difficulty spike to this part of the song? Like seriously, the tone of the song completely changes. You'd expect it to get a lot harder all of a sudden. Still, I mean, I don't want it to be ridiculous or anything, especially since this isn't going to be the hardest part of the level. I want you to be very swingy when going into the swing copter portal because then it flows into it better. I think I'm gonna have the swing copter like, fall into a portal that switches its gravity. So it starts by swinging back. I should probably have it land on a platform as well. Y position resets are very important in the UFO, and now with the addition of the swing copter, they're also like, I think, even more important in swing copter to make sure you're constantly resetting the player's Y position. Because otherwise, this could go off sync really easily, a game mode like this. And the swing copter is really complicated to correct for with its big swinging motions. UFO was like that. I'm gonna add a pillar down here also before I forget. Struggled making swing gameplay a lot. Yeah, this is gonna be my first time really making serious swing gameplays, so. And it's with all these complicated mechanics, so we'll see how it goes. Doesn't seem like it'll be too bad. Besides, I've already made swing copter gameplay with the ball before, even though it works a little differently, the gravity is different. Ah, uh, so true. So true. I agree that ah, uh, there's so much free space here. And then I'm just gonna add another tendril down here probably make it a lot shorter. Ooh, that's, that's scary. It just comes out of the ceiling really quickly. Ooh, that's that freaky. I like it. Freaky mode activate. Ooh, that's so freaky. I, I love the way it like wraps itself around you and kills you. Oh, that's so good. Your mountain town wouldn't have tendrils that kill you, but that's just you. Yeah, you're kind of a loser though is the thing. You just don't have appreciation for a good couple set of tendrils. Okay, we gotta make the swing copter part now. This ship is pretty well put together, I would say. I might adjust the difficulty a little bit, but it feels pretty well balanced with what I want. Dude, I can't stop playing this. This is so cool. Okay, yeah, I wanna swing up and down there like that. Let's probably have some of these spikes. It looks like that might be a little too hard. That's not bad at all. Okay, that needs to move. I can probably extend this again. I think I'm going to have this thing reach for the player really quickly right here. So then if you go down too far, it'll catch you. Yeah. It'll do like a spider orb that teleports you onto a block. This is gonna be hard to test. Move this over like half a block. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, okay, I'm over here now. Maybe we'll do like a dash orb there or something. You have to hit that launches you up into a block. Swing copter gameplay is hard to make. <laughs> I don't know. Do I plan to deco as I make the layout? No, not really. 
<clears throat> Jeez, I need water. I'm just planning things out really well. So I'm doing a lot more work on the layout. Um, this seems like a good spot for a slopey part. Where I'm looking for these. A little like this. Oh, I like that. You have to click three times. I'll have some slopes that you fly off of, too. This is going well. I'm gonna start, like, hanging stuff from the ceiling. I am looking for these objects. I'm just... I got playtesteritis so bad, dude. Let's place, like, a chart over here or something. Actually coming up with gameplay ideas is hard. Probably put, like, a pillar here, too. Mm, I'm gonna put, like, another tendril up here, probably. This, this one specific tendril is actually afraid of the player. They all have different personalities. I think that's kind of cute. How about the gameplay here? You switch gravity to land on slopes over and over again. Probably not. That doesn't seem like that would go to the music very well. But maybe I'll do that a couple times. Actually, maybe that's not a terrible idea. Yeah, I kind of like the repeated gimmick just right there. Just once. Is this the YouTube level or the other level? This is the level I was building on my channel. In fact, I'll probably make a stream highlights video of this stream. Maybe just this stream and the previous stream where I made the tendrils. So it's just this section. These stream highlight videos are just like previews of what's to come with the level. So I'm going to place a couple spikes right here to make sure that you have to time that. Wow, that's hard. I have like a really tall pillar here that you have to dodge. I like that, that's fun. That is whimsical, may I even say. I think I'm gonna make- I'm gonna manipulate gravity right here to make your swings bigger. I'm gonna make it lower for a second. I'm making swing gameplay without indicators, someone gets it as- I have not been playing very many levels, have like all of them been using indicators for swing gameplay? I don't feel like it really needs indicators, it's pretty intuitive where to go here. Let me remove all this gameplay, this was just temporary right here, just to test out the camera borders moving out. That's pretty good, I like that. Just gotta fill these in with the obstacles, I'll have like an obstacle right here is what makes it so you have to click. At this point, the only thing I had left to do was fill out this swing copter a bit more and finish some of the structures. It's really not that interesting, so I'll just skip to the end of the stream. Okay, I think that's the entire stream. I think that's all I'm gonna do on stream today. I've been streaming for a little over four hours and I built this entire ship and swing copter part. Next time I'm going to make this like more open free part in the cube where you kind of jump around hit some orbs and I'm going to change up the game mode a lot here because you can hear the song it sounds very disoriented. It feels like you should be morphing and changing and swapping around and everything should be very dreamlike and just morphing around. Again, if you want to see more of this layout and me building it, you can follow my Twitch. Link in the description. For now, let's get another showcase going. Except Happy birthday, I'll include an extra bit of layout before what I made in this vid. How kind of me. I'll be honest, I just felt like this section was way too short for a showcase.